Hello everyone. This is Shiraz Ahmed Khan. I am an ICT teacher and I am here to discuss the skills which are required to get good grades in the practical portion of ICT. ICT stands for Information and Communication Technology. It's a course that is offered by Cambridge University and the code of the course is 0417. In order to perform the tasks and activities given in the book, you need to have two things with you. One is of course the ICT book that is endorsed by Cambridge University. The cover page of the book is, in, is on your screens right now. And the second thing that is required with this book is the source files. The source files, they are in the form of a folder. And when you open this folder, you will see subfolders inside it. And the folders are according to the chapters given in the book. We'll be starting this book from word processing package. And we'll be using Microsoft Word as an example software to perform the tasks and activities given in the book. Word processing package or Microsoft Word, the relevant chapters from the book are chapter 13, chapter 14, chapter 17, and to some extent, chapter 15. And we'll be starting after this video lecture from the source files of chapter 13. The very first task given in the book is this one. By the end of this lecture, we would be able to learn how to create a new document in MS Word, how to open an existing RTF file, how to insert a table from an Excel sheet within our word processed document. We'll be learning how to add it how to make modifications in the existing document. And we will learn finally how to save this task. And during this saving procedure, we will learn that how to type the new file name, how to save as the file, and how to save as the file with a new file extension that will definitely be docx in replacement of rtf. Before we proceed further, let me tell you two things that we are going to see RTF files and CSV files throughout the course of this Microsoft Word. RTF is basically a generic format and RTF stands for Rich Text Format. Similarly, CSV it's once again a generic format and CSV stands for comma separated values. Now we are going to start the very first. We are going to start the very first task of this chapter and this task. The first statement of the task is create a new document. So in order to create a new document, first of all, we are to start Microsoft Word. And there are different ways of starting MS Word. The simplest way is to click inside the search the web and windows option in the taskbar and start typing WinWord there. Automatically, it pops up this Word to 2013 option. Click this, Microsoft Word software will start and it will show you the splash screen of the software. From this, because we are asked to create a new document, so I'm clicking the blank document option. And this way, we have successfully opened the, we have successfully created the new document in Microsoft Word. The next statement says, Open the file text1.rtf. Now we are going to learn 
with how to open an existing document in Microsoft Word. Throughout these video lectures, I'll keep sharing the shortcut keys of performing different actions in different software. So now we are going to open an RTF file and where this RTF file is basically already stored. It's already stored in the source files folder of chapter 13. There are different methods of opening this existing document. One method is to click file menu and then clicking open option. And the second method is to press the shortcut key of opening an existing document that is control O. I have just pressed control O and you can see the open option in front of your screens. Now we are going to open the file from the path where it's already stored. In my case, I have already placed the source files folders for chapter 13 on my desktop. So you can search from the laptops or computers which you are using and where you have already stored, place this folder. I'm clicking desktop. Onto the desktop, I have chapter source files, then chapter 13, and here we have text1.rtf. Finally, click this option and click this open button or double click this text1.rtf. So this way we have performed the second part of this task that is open the file text1.rtf. So we have successfully opened this file. It's an existing document that was already existed in the source files folder. Now we are going to learn how to insert the file table1.csv. As I told you earlier, there are, that there are different methods of performing different tasks. So uh, keeping in view the short span of time for this video, I'm going to teach you, to guide you, how to copy and paste the contents of the CSV file into our word process document. Go to that chapter source files folder, chapter 13, and here we have that file, table1.csv. One more thing, I want to highlight here that by default, if Microsoft Office, it's already installed in your computers. And if you open an RTF file, by default, it will be opened in Microsoft Word. Likewise, by default, CSV files, they open in Microsoft Excel. So just after double clicking this, we observe that this csv file table1.csv it's automatically by default it's opened in microsoft excel at this point we are not going to discuss the details of microsoft excel we want to put focus to put emphasis on microsoft word only so here for microsoft excel we are just going to learn one thing that how to select the contents how to copy the contents from CSV file and how to paste the contents from CSV file into our word processed document as a table. So for this purpose, we are to select the contents with the help of mouse, or you can perform this activity by clicking the first cell that is A1, press the shift key, hold down, and press the arrow keys in order to select the contents of those cells in which we have values like this. Once the contents are completely selected, press the shortcut key to copy the contents and the shortcut key to copy the contents is control C. Look, just after pressing the shortcut key, automatically a blinking border 
it started appearing around the contents it actually means that these contents are copied now minimize excel maximize microsoft word and basically we are asked to place the contents of the csv file into this word document and the place is not mentioned in the statement of the question but at the same time if you closely observe the place is mentioned here place table here along with these angle brackets technically we call these angle brackets chevrons so select this text along with chevrons and in order to paste the contents into microsoft word the shortcut key is control v once the contents are pasted here in microsoft word you can exit microsoft excel <clears throat> now one thing worth noticing here is that the contents are copied but according to the statement of the question we are asked to insert the file table1.csv as a table currently the contents are copied table is there but because of the invisibility of the grid lines it does not look like a table so let's learn how to make the borders visible around these contents select the table with the help of this table handler click the table handler whole table is selected now in order to work with the tables in microsoft word automatically two new tabs they have started appearing at the end of the by default or intrinsic tabs click the design tab here we have different table styles and in order to make the things simplest choose this table with grids just click this option look just after clicking this option automatically it's giving us a look of a table so the two parts of the task are done we have created a new document we have opened the text1.rtf file and we have successfully inserted the contents of the file table1.csv as a table within our document next step is to change the document heading to winter weather forces schools to close one more thing i want to highlight here is that while typing the text given in the task or the statement of the question be very conscious regarding the case whether the word or letter it's written in upper case or lower case please be very conscious regarding this option so in this case only the w of winter it's capitalized and rest of the letters are in lower case so we are going to replace the previous heading with the new one that is winter weather forces schools to close so let's see how can we achieve this this is the already given heading in the document there are different ways to select this heading and the quickest one is to triple click the mouse triple click is basically used to select the whole paragraph triple click you can select these contents with the help of shift and arrow keys and once again with the help of keyboard the quickest method is place the cursor at the start of the line press shift and press end key the previous heading is selected there is no need to delete it just highlight the previous heading and start typing the new heading and the new heading is winter weather forces schools to close that's it once the typing is done next step is to save the document as task 13a so now we are going to learn three different things in this point and the things are how to save as the file how to 
save as the file with new name and how to change the type of the file from RTF to docx. So let's see how can we achieve these three targets. Once again, you can choose the save as option from the file menu by clicking file menu and here we have the save as option and the shortcut key to save as the document is F12. Once you press F12, you will see this dialog box in front of your screens. Now replace this file name that is text1.rtf. One more important thing is where to save this file. Certainly we should save the files into the same folder, the source files folder for chapter 13. So we are going to replace it with task 13a. Once again, if you look at the name of the file, everything is given in small letters. Secondly, there is a space between the word task and 13a. So give them due importance while saving the file. F12. And now replace this text1.rtf. It's already highlighted. So you need not to press backspace or del key or delete key. Just straight away start typing the new file name. Once the file name is typed, now the last thing in this connection is to change the save as type. Already the document its type is RTF and we are going to change it from RTF to docx. Once the things are done, finally click the save button. In my case, it's prompting to replace the existing file. Yeah, I want to replace the existing file. So I'm clicking OK. In your case, you won't see this option. So now task 13a the very first task of chapter 13 it's completed and we are ready to save the final changes and that's it for today's video thank you very much for watching and see you next time